Hi, I'm Elizabeth Uhlberg, and I'm excited to talk about my newest YA novel, Just Another Girl. Girl meets boy. Boy already has girlfriend. It's not a new concept. But what I noticed in a lot of love triangle stories was that the girlfriend was usually the villain or mean girl. What if she was just another girl? In the book, readers will meet Hope. Hope has been best friends with Brady for years. She's convinced that they belong together. Too bad Brady's dating Parker, who is the worst, and Parker's just so perfect and smart and pretty. But here's the thing. Hope doesn't know Parker at all. None of us really know someone until we spend a day in her shoes. So it'll be a surprise to Hope, and hopefully readers, when Parker's real story is revealed. I'm really proud of Just Another Girl, and hope you enjoy reading it. Hi, I'm Lamar Giles, the author of Overturned. In this novel, Nikki Tate is infamous even by Las Vegas standards. She uses her considerable smarts to execute her escape Las Vegas plan, where she earns money for college far, far away so she might escape the stigma of having a father on death row. But after five years, his sentence is overturned and her dad returns home to tragedy. Now Nikki must use all of her skills to discover what exactly happened the night that her father went to jail and uncover the identities of the people trying to destroy her family one crime at a time. I wrote Overturn because I'm fascinated with Las Vegas. There's this televised version of the city that everybody in the world knows, but the other parts of the city people don't often hear about. And what better way to explore them than by solving a mystery with an exciting, intelligent action hero like Nikki Tate. I had a lot of fun writing Overturn, and I hope you have fun reading it. Hi, my name is Donna Cooner, and this is Murphy. Murphy and I are very excited to share with you about our new book, Worthy. Worthy is about Lyndon and her best friend, Nikki, and her new boyfriend, Alex, and how all those relationships get tangled up when an app is created and released to their high school. It ranks couples based on whether or not the girl is worthy of the boy. I think what attracted me to the story in the first place was the whole idea of worth. And, and that title, Worthy, was, was created before the story even began. I think Worthy has such, so many layers and meaning to so many of us because many of us have felt that feeling of not being good enough to be with someone, be it a friendship or a relationship. Uh, but I think that the idea is, is very telling. So I really hope you'll find Worthy, well, Worthy. I love working with author Neil Connolly because he's the kind of writer who creates really terrific characters, then just keeps throwing awful things at them. So I read on, desperate to see how they get out of trouble. In Neil's new novel, Into the Hurricane, those great characters are Max, our heroine, who's carrying some stolen contraband, and Eli, our hero, who's haunted by his sister's ghost. Max and Eli meet at the top of a lighthouse in Louisiana, where they've both come for their own secret reasons. Then those awful things start to happen to them, including a family of backwoods rednecks, a paddleboat casino, an alligator, a little lost girl, and of course, the hurricane of the title, all uniting in an edge-of-your-seat read. Author Michael Northrup called Into the Hurricane a Category 5 adventure. And if you or your patrons love survival stories, like Hatchet or The Raft, you won't want to miss Into the Hurricane. The Lionsgate Cross is a book about two characters, Michael and Mina, who meet at a rally for refugees, but on opposite ends of the rally. Michael's parents have founded a political party that's against multiculturalism, refugees, Muslims in Australia and immigration. And Mina is a refugee from Afghanistan who starts up at Michael's school on a scholarship. In this book, I really hope to empower young people to challenge the racism that they hear and to try and find things out for themselves rather than believe what they hear in the media or even what they hear at home from people that they love and care about but need to question what they're hearing and try and find the strength to follow through on their own convictions. Hi, I'm Garth Nix, author of the Keys to the Kingdom series, the Seventh Tower series, one of the Spirit Animals books, and I'm here today to talk about my new book, Frog Kisser. Frog Kisser is a fantasy for all ages in the spirit of the Princess Bride and Gregory Maguire. And Frog Kisser follows Princess Anya, 
who's fierce and feisty and who with her faithful dog Ardent and a motley crew of transformed companions must embark on a capital Q quest to acquire the ingredients to a magical transmogrification reversal lip balm which will turn her older sister's beloved frog into a prince and just might save the kingdom from the clutches of her villainous step-stepfather. So Lifers um, is fantastically gripping. Um, it's the US debut by M.A. Griffin and uh, a, a great piece of thrilling writing. Our hero's best friend is a young woman. They've grown up together and when the young woman's boyfriend disappears, taken off the streets one night, she goes looking for him and our young hero follows her very dangerously. But the truth is way beyond what you can imagine because the truth is these children have been banged up and locked away in prisons which are between dimensions. So it's a fantastic adventure story. It's a fantastic modern day Day after tomorrow, slightly fictionalised, only slightly, I feel, thriller about tomorrow's societies and how really you've got to stand up for things. You've got to stand up for what you believe in. Sarah Larson has garnered phenomenal acclaim for her beloved YA fantasy romance, The Defy Trilogy. And now she's back with a brand new duology. Book one, Dark Breaks the Dawn, introduces readers to a land that is divided between light and dark magic people who use the sun's power to wield their magic and those who use the cold dark of night. When the dark kingdom attacks the light kingdom after thousands of years of peace, the warrior princess Evelyn of the light kingdom suddenly finds herself on the throne and at the head of her country's armies. She must learn to shapeshift into her given swan form in order to defeat the wicked king of the dark magic before all is lost. But will a dangerous love tear her kingdom apart? Sarah Larson has delivered an utterly delicious read, one that is bursting with romance and magic and plenty of adventure, and one that readers are sure to fall in love with. Odds are, you've read and seen stories of humans making first contact with extraterrestrial life. Ever wonder what happens a hundred years after the fact? I'm Fonda Lee, the author of Zero Boxer, and I'm excited to introduce you to my new novel, Exo, or as I like to call it, not your usual story of alien conquest. EXO takes place a hundred years after humans have lost the war. Donovan Reyes is a member of the Global Security Forces, and he's an EXO, a human enhanced with alien biotechnology, possessing an organic body armor that makes him faster, stronger, and more invulnerable than other humans. He's also the son of a top political leader, so when he's taken hostage by a rebel group, events quickly spiral out of control. As he struggles to stay alive, Donovan realizes that his fate is tied to that of the entire planet. EXO is an action-packed story of aliens, soldiers, family tragedy, divided loyalty, a touch of forbidden romance, and hard questions with no easy answers. Can't wait to share it with you. Did you know that during World War II, Russia had an all-female regiment of fighter pilots who flew bombing missions against the Nazis? I'd never heard much about them, which is why I'm delighted that historical fiction master Catherine Lasky has brought this thrilling story to life in Night Witches. The novel follows Valya, a 16-year-old pilot who joins the Night Witches and becomes part of a top-secret, incredibly dangerous operation to destroy a crucial Nazi target. But when her sister goes missing in action, Valya must make an agonizing choice between saving her family and saving her country. This action-packed, brilliantly researched novel is going to blow the socks off readers who know that strong female warriors don't just belong in fantasy books. They have always existed in real life. This is one of their stories. It's October 1942 in Oslo, Norway. In an apartment building like any other, in an ordinary neighborhood, the lives of three families are about to change forever. For the Stern family, the threat of deportation, along with all other Norwegian Jews. For the Rustad family, the shame of collaboration with the Nazis. And for the Rod family, the chance to make a difference through secret resistance work, if it's not already too late. Almost Autumn is a gorgeous, thrilling novel of first love, 
Heartbreaking Loss, and The Power of Chance by Norwegian author Marianne Koren. Share it with readers who loved Between Shades of Grey and are looking for more stories of World War II from a different angle. And as Susan Campbell Bartoletti, Newbery Honor author of Hitler Youth says, almost autumn is hauntingly evocative. I couldn't put it down. So, who wants to take a family trip to North Korea? Mia Andrews doesn't, not really. Yet that's just where she finds herself, on a tour with her aid worker father and rebellious older brother. Then Mia discovers some illegal photos of the North Korean slave labor camps, right as her dad gets arrested by soldiers. The only way to save her father? Get the pictures out of the country. So Mia and her brother go on the run in North Korea, a country where they don't speak the language, don't have any money or food, and getting caught can mean prison or worse. Author Anne Sibley O'Brien grew up in South Korea, and she spent 10 years researching and writing in the shadow of the sun. Like Endangered by Elliot Schrafer, or A Long Walk to Water by Linda Sue Park, it's a middle grade adventure rooted in a real life international situation, and it's also an unforgettable novel of courage and survival. Wild Lily by Kathleen Payton. In this book, there is a parachute jump, and I swear to God I've never parachuted anywhere, but I feel as if now I have parachuted somewhere because I felt every moment, and Wild Lily is a very, very strong-willed and lovely girl, born into, a sort of, born into the 1930s. This is Downton Abbey, brought to life to you in a much, I think, superior way because Cathy lived through these, these times from that view. This is... Um, an intensely moving book, but just wonderful to be involved in it and reading it. Go wild, Lily. We're right with you.